are going to get right into this beautiful holiday look. And you know what? It's a little bit more casual, but yet it's not, right? So I just have on this sparkly gold jacket with just a little bit. I'm just adorning myself a little bit. And I'm going to have jeans on. So this could be a, you know, this could be anything you want it to be, right? So it's holiday, it's uplifting. I have the Hallmark channel on nonstop getting into that whole vibe. And today I'm going to give you lots of choices. It's gonna be so beautiful. I'm really excited because I have launched my two new shimmer liquid eye sparklers. That's what I like to call them. They are eye sparklers. They're gonna add just a little bit of extra sheen to your eyes. So this is really fun for a holiday. This is fun to just kind of brighten your look, to get excited about whatever you want to get excited about, even if it's just the fact you're excited about the liquid shimmer. I am on board with that. Uh, that's just, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So I have a little sparkly on. I am mixing metals, pearls, gold, silvers, ladies, no rules again. And we're going to get right into a beautiful priming my face. But I got to tell you recently, this ice roller has been a game changer, a lifesaver for me. I wake up and I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> why are we so puffy? Do I have allergies? Like what's going on? I'm getting enough rest. You can check off every single box. So I start off and you know what? I wasn't putting it in the freezer and then this morning I did and I was like, oh yes, it has to be in the freezer. I take it out and then I roll it on my face. I need that blood flow. I need to depuff my face and I need my face to start looking normal again. Under $20, a great stocking stuffer for yourself or for a friend, a loved one. I love these. These are these can't go wrong. Nothing expires. You can take off this head. You can just put that into the freezer if you want to. Put it back on. I spritz it with alcohol when I'm finished using it. And I have a really great tool that's simple that is always by my side on my vanity. So today I'm gonna go right in with something a little bit different. I feel dehydrated. My lips are always feeling so dehydrated because I put on lipsticks for photo shoots. I take them off, I put them on, I take them off. Uh, the matte lipsticks, glossy lipsticks. That's why my lips are always going through a little metamorphosis, if you will. Caudalie, you know, is one of my favorite lines. It's a French line. This is called Vino Perfect. This is a radiant serum. I find that this brightens my skin. I've been using it for years. So I just wanted to put a little bit of that on today. I want to, I just want to feel that hydration. I want to feel my skin just kind of getting really, really beautiful for this look, plump, primed. I'm feeding my skin. That's really important, ladies. So you cannot have gorgeous makeup, doesn't matter what you do if you are not taking care of your skin. So I'm going to go on now with my Ever Canvas. This is a makeup primer, SPF 30. It is clean beauty. So this is going to be a titanium dioxide sunscreen. Very important. Um, I actually am going to the dermatologist next week because some random thing popped up on my ear and from my research doesn't look very good. <laughs> I'm just like thinking to myself, gosh, my ear. Okay. Well, we're going to take care of it. We're going to get it taken care of. And let me tell you a really good tip too, is that take pictures of strange things that either come up or that you're watching, because then you can show the doctor like this happened November 1st. This is what it looked like on November 3rd. I find that to be so, so helpful because things do change and things go away and things come back. So that's kind of my little tip for you today when it comes to being proactive about your skin health. Now I do, I've been using the Bye Bye, Bye, Bye Eye Serum. This is an advanced anti-wrinkle smoothing serum. I'm just going to put a little bit on my, on my crow's feet area, just to kind of smooth it out a little bit. I do like this product. It's really nice for blurring this area, hydrating this area, giving me extra, extra moisture. I do need that. So, all right, so first things first, let's go in with our eye and lip primer. That is the first thing I do to, to start my makeup. So I'm going to go in with my eye and lip primer. This is the first thing that I use always doing my eyes. I always do my eyes first. I do a nice thin veil of this product. So it's going to go to, from the base of my lashes all the way up to my brow bone. So I place the product and you notice that I don't go back in and keep dipping. I don't keep dipping into the product. I use one time and then I will spread it across the whole entire eye, making sure I get into this corner here. Very important. 
and you'll see that it just really neutralizes out my eye. So, you know, I have the nice primed eye here. This is not primed working with the skin color, pigmentation, redness, veins, blues, depending on what's going on with your eyes. This is going to help your eye shadow stay all day. It's going to grip your eye shadow. It's not going to crease. Now, again, remember, you don't want to put on a ton of product. You need to realize how much product you are putting on your eyes. So you want to, and this is just like the rule of thumb, it's going to be a nice sheer veil, right? You want to see your skin through it, but you don't want to have so much on your skin that it's going to move or you can see it or it's creasing. You just want a nice, nice veil. So it's almost like a second skin. So that's really what I've applied right now. Second skin, it's ready to go. We're ready to go into our eyeshadow. So I had two choices. I was gonna actually start off with my authentic palette here, five beautiful natural matte colors for you, lots and lots of range. And then I thought, well, I really love choices. This is a beautiful kind of goldeny bronze look for the eyeshadow came out this fall. And I really, really just have been so happy with this palette and I'm going to add a little bit of our liquid shimmer on top, which is really special because it's a limited edition. I just came out with it today. So I thought, you know what? You know authentic. You know how to work matte, pal or matte shadows in this whole palette here. So let's go into something called Choices, which you know I, I really love because of why I created it. We all have a choice in life. We all have a choice to be positive or negative, to uh, you know, show our caring and helping others is just, we have a lot of choices in life and we, we have to own those choices. So I'm going to be using my eyeshadow brush. This is my, uh, I don't know. Do I have, Oh, here. And then here, <laughs> this is my foundation brush that I'll be using later. This comes separate, but I have eight gorgeous brushes that I've created for you. hundred percent vegan that I use in all of my tutorials because it's easy. It's simple. It applies the product how it's supposed to, so you don't have to, to always kind of struggle with how you're applying your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go into the middle color here. It's so, so, so pretty. So I just load up the brush, right? I'm just pressing it in like this flat. I'm not going in, dabbing it, and swirling it all around. I'm being intentional, so I'm placing it on the brush like that. And then I'm going to go right to the center of my eye. So I'm gonna build up the color. Again, you can do a wash of color, you can do this to be really a beautiful, dark, smokier eye. It depends on what you want. You have the control, you can. These are triple milled, they're silky, they're really, really soft, and they spread very, very nicely. So you're not struggling. They're not skipping all around and it's all blotchy. They're really beautiful. They go on beautifully smooth, as you can see. So if you have a little bit more of a crepey eye, or if you have a lot of drooping, these are going to be really forgiving to your eye because they're smooth. They're, they're going to apply where they don't grab and skip. So you can see, I put it on just the middle part here, and then I'm just going to work it up to my crease. And I didn't dip back into the palette. I want to just use everything that I have on the brush and get this really beautiful, beautiful application. You can go right into the crease here and have it look seamless. I'm gonna take my smudge brush, which I like to call my eraser brush. It's a dense little bristled brush like this. And it's going to pick up the darkest color here in the palette. And I'm going to just go into the crease and also below like a little triangle. So right here in the crease, I'm gonna build up this color. Remember, nothing's on my skin. I do have a little bit of the prepping. I can always, I can always reapply that if I, when I sweep away with my little makeup remover pad, but this is basically what I am doing right in here. So I wanna just build up this color and have it look really, really, really just seamless, beautiful, and a little bit more punchy for this holiday look. You can come down also right underneath the eye if you want to kind of balance it out with a little bit of shadow before we go in with our liner.
Now I'm gonna just take my shadow brush again. I'm gonna take off any of the color that's on there and I'm gonna go in the lightest color. And I really just want to fuse everything together. So I want this all, I'm gonna go right over it so there's no real demarcation of that crease line. And I'm just gonna soften it up and lighten it up a little bit so that it all goes together. I'm gonna go in with my All May pads. These are oil-free, easy way to, to, to sweep away any of that makeup that you might have gone outside of your eye area that you want. I just nicely, you'll see it's right there on the pad. I just nicely go and crisp up the ends so I don't have anything underneath my eye. And then I'm ready to go in with my eyeliner. I'm gonna take my Ultimate Brow and Eyeliner Cream. So this is a cream liner. You can use it for your brows. You can use it for your eyeliner. It comes with a brush built in, which is really, really convenient. So you don't have to look around for your brush. It's a little angled synthetic brush. We have four colors, ash brown, medium brown, dark brown, and black. I love black with a really beautiful nighttime look. Um, I'm gonna go into the little pot. So what I'm gonna do is though, because you're, it's creamy, right? So you're gonna pick up a lot. You can put it on the sides, wipe it off a little bit if you want to. I like to just take, um, I have a little um, palette here. So I just, I just really kind of tap on either side and I get everything off of it. So I'm gonna just take the brush and I'm gonna go right to the lash line. So you can see I'm getting my lash line looking thicker. This is really my technique on how to apply liner when it comes to more aging eyes. Now, remember, if you have more hooded eyes and you really can't see, you don't have this much space, you can either use lids by design to lift them up and then you can put on your eyeliner. I've done a video there, I can show it to you. I'll link it right above me so you can go right to it but you can do a little bit thicker if you want to, but the key is, is to really get right here in the lashes so it just looks really nice. You don't have to really worry about being perfect with the cream liner, because you can go back with the smudge brush and you can basically smudge it up so there's no worry. If you have you know, shaky hands and you're kind of spotty, take the brush and just glide across it and it smooths it out, it makes it smoky, it looks beautiful. It looks like an absolutely perfect application. I'm gonna just take a little bit of the eyeliner and I'm gonna go right three quarters in underneath my eye. Just take your All May pad and clean off the brush before you put it back in the top. So you don't want anything to harden on the brush and it snaps right in like that. And then you just make sure that this is on tight so the creaminess does not dry out. So let's go into our lashes. So I'm going to first, I'm going to just, so the routine is for me. I show it to you in a process in every video if I don't leave this heated eyelash curler on and I can't use it. So I have the Shuamora heated, uh, I have the Shuamora eyelash curler, traditional eyelash curler. I just like to do this to be a little bit faster to get my eyelashes curled up. Then I'll go in and I'll put my mascara on and then to top it off to seal the deal to get them to stay up all day long, I'll use my heated eyelash curler. So this is what I have done for a very long time. Um, I, I like how the process works. I like how it keeps them up and it really almost like hairspray. So that is really the technique that I do. So I'm gonna just curl my lashes first. I'm going to use Nicole Cosmetics Mascara. This is an intense mascara, flat, flat brush, and it has teeth on both sides. So the other one I like using too is Chanel, just depending on the day and my mood. But you'll see that this brush, so this brush head is a lot bigger rounder and I can't really get to the bottoms really without getting it all over. So that's why I like using this to get on the bottom. Sometimes I'll use them together. So I'll like kind of do a double volume, but I like that the teeth 
grab the bottom of my lashes and really extend my lashes. If you have really short, short lashes that a lot of us deal with from time to time, or they're just short, my mothers are very short and very fine, this works really well because it gets all of those little baby lashes. When she uses wands like this, I bought her multiple of these. It's nice, but she really can't get, it kind of like it just glides across her lashes. If you know what I, I, I know a lot of you know what I mean when I say that because you're not really getting, it, they don't grip it because it's not deep enough. These are actual teeth, so it's basically like a comb. So I like doing that because I really get a lot more bang for my buck because it goes to the base and I, I can feel it. So they're resting in there like a comb and then it just gives them all a really nice coating. I can separate them like this. So I go to the base and then I just kind of slowly like close my eye and I'm getting all of those little, even those little lashes that I can see right here that never get, that they're like always hanging out in the wings. They never really get coated. I really feel like I can coat them this way. And I also I haven't said this in a while, but I will turn the, the, the one flat and coat just a little bit more like that. So it's getting a really nice, beautiful coating, but not clumping. So now my mascara is on perfectly and I'm going to just go in with my heated eyelash curler to seal the deal. So basically I go from the base and I pull up and I'm really molding them. Do you see how I'm kind of twisting it a little bit? where I twist it and then they're going to stay up like that. Just like that, it's perfect. So now my lashes are up. I love how this looks. I love it. So I'm going to go in with my no redness. I've been seeing a lot of redness lately in my skin and I've been using my brightener, but you know, what? I really want to take away this redness. I do have a little bit of this pigmentation that I've been working really hard this year on. So I'm going to just take my foundation brush that's in the kit. So it's a flat brush. So I'm just going to taper this out. This is going to color correct first my skin before I put on my BB cream. So this is really nice and creamy. It's a beauty stick. You can get medium to full coverage on this. I'm just going to go right where I see the redness. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to kind of give it a little neutral base before I start adding on my BB cream and my brightener. I'm going to go in with my concealer that is a brightener. This is also a color corrector. You're going to see it's a little bit more on the peachier side. I really want to lighten up in here. See that? So holiday is all about bright. It's all about looking fresh and revived, which has been very, very challenging this year. This is not normal. I think we are all ready for 2021, right? So we got to just keep looking on the bright side, which is why I'm always using brighteners, brightening up my skin. I don't want to see any darkness. I want to keep focusing on the lights. So I'm going in. So you can see, I just literally covered that and made me so much happier because you can see it instantly covering that blues, that grays, that not really that pretty. So I'm just actually layering it over, as you can see, taper out. I'm going to just go back in with my buffing foundation brush work this into my skin so i'm lightening it up preparing it for foundation or bb cream cc cream whatever you're using so pressing it into the skin i really want this to look one with the skin and again ladies i'm not trying to mask out my skin i don't think that looks pretty i can you can see how i taper it out taper it down i just want to give the, the best chance for my skin looking natural looking brighter, but not looking like I'm wearing tons of makeup, tons of foundation. As my skin ages, yes, I see more fine lines and wrinkles, more pigmentation. I want to work with that. You know, I, I want to see it. I want to say, okay, you know what? I can lighten this up a little bit. I can, I can change this a little bit, but I don't want to mask out my skin and, and look like 
I masked out my skin. So that's been always a very important thing for me to look fresh and to look not like I'm aging my skin. I can't put that much on it. I can only, I have to pick and choose. So today I picked the no redness and then I did a little bit of the brightening concealer. I'm going to mix my BB creams, fair and light. And I want you to see, let me just show you a swatch of what the light looks like compared to the fair. I think this will be really helpful. So this is going to be the light right here on my face. Let's look at that. So you can see what the light looks like. And then keep in mind, I just put on some of my correcting. And then here is the light. That's what the light looks like. So you ladies that are, so this has a little bit more yellow tone and this is gonna be a little bit more on the cooler side. So I like to mix these two together now that I'm going into not being out in the sun that much. I was doing a lot of photo shoots on the beach and being at sunrise and I was getting color. So I was being able to get away with this, but now I'm gonna mix it with the two here. So this is actually, I do another, I have another video. I will link it below where I show you all five colors on my skin swatching. You know, I'm a little bit more on, I am a kind of a neutral skin tone. I'm not too warm, I'm not too cool. So I'm going to just mix these and then I'm gonna put it on. I am going to just buff this on my skin. This foundation is beautiful for more mature skin because it has aloe in it, chamomile, ginseng. It has titanium dioxide in it. So this is going to be really hydrating. This is going to really help with evening out the tone. It has B3 in it. It is really, really a nice, beautiful BB cream if that's what you want. If you want something that's more like, you know, makeup meets foundation or your BB cream meets foundation because it's not an actual foundation. So that's why we have five colors. You basically can match your skin. We have the fair, the light, light medium, medium, and then the dark. So it's really a nice way to kind of Give your skin that even tone, not feel like you're wearing tons of makeup, not feeling like you're covering up the skin. And you get a little bit of a nice satiny dewy finish. It's not matte. You don't want matte when you're using a BB cream. You do want to feel like you have something on that is not transparent and invisible. And you want it to be, just give your skin this beautiful look to it. So I love buffing it on my skin because I want it to look buffed. I don't want it to look like it's just laying there. I'm going to take just a little invisible HD powder. This is my setting powder. So I'm gonna just take it underneath my eyes and my T-zone. Onto my brows, I'm gonna just do a little bit of my brow fix and clear. So I just want my brows to stay up, stay looking like they are groomed. And this is how I do it. Again, it's like hairspray for the brows. We have multiple colors. I like the clear because my eyebrows are so dark, but we have blonde, we have brunette, we have dark brunette. It's really a nice option if you have gray hairs that you can basically cover them and not have to pluck them out because we wanna keep all the hairs that we possibly can. And now I'm going to take, so we have the two liquid shimmers for the eye. Beautiful. So we have So Gorgeous. It's more of on a goldier, pretty, just really, I'm going to actually use that today. And then we have One and Only. One and Only is a little bit more on the silvery side. So I'm going to take this. It looks so pretty on. I'm just going to give it a little extra. That's all I'm doing. I'm just not for everybody, but I do love giving my lid just a little bit more of that. If you like sparkly, if you're feeling like you want to kind of get your eyes giving it a little, just a little extra. Do you see how pretty, like you can go as much or as little as you want. You don't have to go crazy. I just feel like, you know, I need a little festive. I need something. I want something to come alive. <laughs> so this is why I um, launched this for this, this holiday season. I just wanted something that was going to be you know, just something special that you would really enjoy just putting on. You can even put it on your lips over a gloss if you want to, just in the center of your lip. We did that one holiday where we had this red, beautiful, very sparkly. It was a very big hit. It was really, really an interesting color. So I just have a little bit on, like a little bit on my lids and it makes me, you know, it just, it's just fun. It's just fun. It's like, okay, now, let me, you know, I can just start 
doing whatever I want, baking or doing the holiday cookies that I wanted to. I'm feeling pretty and feeling glamorous. So we're gonna go into the lips now. I'm going to line my lips with Cameo. I'm going to put on my Nick Ray lipstick. I haven't used this in so long and this is one of my favorites. super high gloss, really, really pretty. And then I'm going to just top it with a little bit of my Pink Lady. Such a pretty look. We're gonna go in with a little Ageless for our blush on our cheeks. Beautiful rosy color, soft, pretty, just really, really just approachable, not too much, but giving you enough color. I, I like to just swirl around. Sometimes I am like, what do I feel like today, right? What colors do I feel like today? Just give myself a little bit of that pretty rosy color, bringing life to my face. Now, another tip is, ladies, if you feel like you put too much blush on, because sometimes I'm always grabbing like the powder brush, which is not the right brush. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it just puts too much. So what you wanna do is you could blend it out. I don't want you to feel like, oh no, I have to take everything off. What you can do is you can go back in with your translucent powder, just put a little bit on the brush and just soften it up a little bit. This is what you can do just to kind of give you that option of having and layering and it lasts longer. So you could just do that, put it on with the, with the blush brush, then you can go back with your powder and then add a little bit more so you can layer to actually give, give more long lasting. So this is the look and then, you know what I, I love to do? This is, my, like, this is my new thing. I love basically taking a heat tool that's different, not a blow dryer, not a flat iron. This is, I showed this to you, I got this on Nordstrom. Um, it's called the Smooth Crew, that's what it is, and it's a kit, and it's from Dry Bar, so you get the brush, so this is a paddle brush that really just refreshes your hair, and then it comes with like their uh, hairspray, I got the money maker in there, I had the sparkling soda, and it was a real, a full size, so I had the sparkling soda. It's a shine mist. Um, I'm gonna just do that because my hair has been up in that little clip and um, this goes up, this is, it heats up really, really fast. Now, I just run it through, like we can still, we can run it through now because it's getting heating up, but you can run it through. I just think this is a really great, you know, tool to be able to, if you have long hair, you have shorter hair, you want your hair just to look smooth, you want it to be refreshed, it's very, very windy here. It's been so windy. I don't know what's going on, but for the last month, so every time I leave and I go out, my hair is like windblown and then it gets really frizzy. So this is a great tool to just get me back into. You can see how it just really smooths out the hair. I don't know how, I don't remember how much this was because it came in a kit, but I'm sure that they're gonna be having some great sales by the end of the year and you could pick up this and just really look so polished. I'm gonna just take a little bit of my Money Maker hairspray, spray it back a little bit, really nice. And then I'm gonna just take a little bit of my sparkling soda, which is one of my favorites, sparkling soda. It's exactly what, actually, it's what I always drink. I always have my sparkling soda right next to me, my little water. And then last but not least, a little Beauty Elixir from Caudalie. This has aromatherapy in it. It just sets the mood for your holiday, your casual holiday, your beautiful golden eyed look, a little bit something extra, something different, something to keep us just looking forward to the light, right? That's been this whole theme this year of all of my makeup tutorials for you, wanting you to feel just to feel good, just to go through the process, to get lost in the process of makeup, putting it on, especially now when there is a lot going on when it comes to Thanksgiving and it comes to Christmas and it comes to you know Hanukkah and everything about just getting together and 
And if, if that's not going to be possible, we're going to feel good no matter what. We're gonna feel good about our look. We're going to get, we are going to put makeup on, get ourselves out of bed or out off the couch and put on a lipstick. You don't have to do a whole makeup routine, ladies. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you're going to make the effort to feel good because when we take care of ourselves, when we brush our hair, when we wash our hair, when we put on a lipstick, when we put on mascara, when we put on even just a clear lip gloss, you could do one thing or just get out of the PJs and put something beautiful on, put on a beautiful necklace. Just all these little different things that you can do to really revive yourself, revive your spirit, and to really kind of get back in the game because I know how hard it is. I've had days where I was like, I wanna be back on my old self, that I was ready to go and do a shoot or do content or do this, and I couldn't do anything. You know, we all go through it on, on all different levels and we're all dealing with so many different layers of this year, 2020. And I can't wait to say it's 2021 and get a whole new vibe and energy and everything going. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope that you really take the time and honor yourself and love yourself and do something for yourself before the end of the year. Really tell yourself how beautiful you are because words are powerful. And I've said this multiple, multiple times on my channel this year. Words are very powerful in the way you talk to yourself is exactly what you're going to bring into your life, right? So until my next video, I'll see you later. Bye.